see you, bro. How you doing? You. All right. Yeah, yeah, good. Awesome. Uh, so, Mark, tell us about um, the MS and, and your involvement with this event. Yeah, you know, I've got a buddy here, Billy Morrison, tonight, who's uh, doing the art. Uh, in conjunction with the the MS uh, charity, and uh, I'm so proud of Billy and what he's doing. You know, I mean, a year ago he wasn't, he didn't have a career in it as an artist. Uh, I'm in a band with Billy, a band called Royal Machines, and he said, "Mark, come check out my artwork." I'm like, you, "You you're doing artwork?" He goes, "Yeah," and I saw his beautiful pieces, and I'm like, "Dude, it's incredible!" And then he goes, "I'm having an art show in a couple of months. It's in conjunction with MS." I go, "Sign me up. I'm there." I think it's great to sort of uh, you know get get a different approach and, and to uh, lending exposure to the MS charity. It's great, and to donate some of the proceeds. I mean, he's always had a sweetheart billy and he's been a firm believer in giving back because so many people have helped him so it's an honor to be here tonight you know nancy you know nancy she started just, with it just burnt. <laughs> oh my gosh yeah that was a bad one <laughs> okay <Yeah. laughs> that meatball grinder man that was not the best choice earlier uh so uh you i know, know nancy, nancy started with it with, sure, uh, with this uh, rock against ms um do you think somebody has to uh pass for through for something bad to start something or, or we can start something without you know uh, that need yeah I mean I think it's up to the individual you know I mean there's a, uh, I, I think obviously when you become afflicted with with such a uh, illness uh, obviously you're more exposed to it and, and obviously what it the impact it can have on you and your family I think that's when people yeah. really get proactive uh, and it's, it's you know, I, I understand. I mean, we'd love to do something for everybody, but unfortunately, it seems people really get motivated when we're stricken with it. But at least they're being motivated at time and, yeah. and helping others and, and, uh, and bringing awareness to, to a great cause and a great charity. What is your motivation? What is your most concern regarding charity when it's about this? I think it's important to do as much as you can. You know, we can't save the world. You know, I mean, we'd all love to. And I think, I think it's events like this that that are rooted in, in, in charity and, and, and belief and in giving back that are important, you know? And it's just to be cognizant of is important. You know, we can't save the world, I wish we could. You know, it seems like every day there's a new affliction or something, another concern, and, and it's pretty, it's pretty, you know, it, it'll, it'll tug at you, but to come out here and see people doing and donating their time and their, and their, and their hard work for a charity, it, it, it gets you thinking, we're talking about it, you know, people are watching and that's what's good. So let's change subject, uh, what happened with the, with the cruise, it sank before starting? Yeah, it's one of those things, it just didn't, it didn't pan out, you know, we're still working on putting something together, which will, which will be fun, but yeah, unfortunately it just didn't have the, uh, it didn't have the, the uh, excitement I was hoping it would, you know, but we'll see, we're still working on it and they want us to put another one together, so we probably will. Good, good. I saw that you you were part of a show about uh, wife swap. Yeah, it was, uh, it was my that. wife. Yeah, I uh, basically changed lives with Coolio for a day. Yeah, yeah. And well, uh, someone thought someone forgot to tell Coolio it wasn't a real wife swap. You know what I'm saying? But it oh. was fun. He, my wife went to live with him for a while, and his wife came to live with me, and we just kind of changed lives for a second. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot from his. Uh, I don't think I think it was his girlfriend. It wasn't his wife even. But uh, it was fun. It was fun. Fun. You were cheating. Maybe so. Uh, I, uh, you didn't hear from me. He said it. Oh, <laughs> but it was it was also uh, in uh, intimacy or, or just uh, about during daytime. How, yeah, how no, it was just we for a couple of days we switched uh, lives. You know, we exchanged households. He, his his girlfriend came to live with us. My wife came to live with them, and kind of showed the different ways how people uh, live. You know. So. so how do you do when you go to sleep? I mean, uh, it's like spoon with a. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. You didn't actually sleep with a person. You know. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah. you just it was how you raise your kids and what different approaches are to, you know, being uh, domestic and in raising children and stuff like that. Any any of your your kids uh, is a rapper now? <laughs> we'll see. They haven't developed a rap career yet, but no. But it was great. She actually had a lot of, a lot of different ideas from us that we still kind of implement now. We, I learned a lot from her. You know, you can learn a lot from other people, and that's what the show is about. You know, we all want what's best for our kids, but we're all raising them differently, you know? Yeah. Uh, all of us doing something right, all of us are doing something wrong, and they can learn from each other. It was, it was actually an eye-opening experience. What, what are you doing now with Sugar Ray? Uh, right now we, we do a lot of one-off shows, casino shows and, and so, stuff like that. I'm writing a new record, a Mark McGrath record, my first solo record, and we'll probably have that out in spring of 2015. Do you expect it's going to sell? What's that? Do you expect it's going to oh, sell? No. God, no. They, okay. no there, there, yeah. there wasn't a platinum record for the first time in the history of the music career. Uh, in 2014, so don't do it. It won't. Doesn't mean a Mark McGrath record is going to sell. No, I have no, uh, no. Uh, I, I have. I, I know this is. You know, it's it's purely purely for fun. When you're in a band, you do two things: you play live and you write music. You know, and so I'm going to be writing music. We've been playing live a lot. Now it's time to write some music. When are you going to be out the the solo album? Uh, hopefully in the spring of 2015. We're going oh, to record it. Yeah, I'll be for a while. So. Oh, any any guest is going to be involved? In Probably that? not. No, let's do it ourselves and just run it up on iTunes. Have some fun with it. You know. What kind of music are you going to play? 
a lot of like kind of like Sugar Ray hits you here and a lot of reggae as well. So really, yeah, a lot of reggae will be in there. I've always been a huge fan. It's always been part of the Sugar Ray makeup, and now it's going to be a huge part of the Mark McGrath solo makeup. Yeah, I will see you with Relax in 2016. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My wife wouldn't let me sleep in bed with her, so <laughs> ain't going to happen. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great uh, night. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're getting there. Sin a 